Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a very nice algebraic equation. We have x plus 1 times x plus 2 times x plus 3 times x plus 4 equal to 15, and we're supposed to solve for x. At this point, you can just go out and pause the video and try the problem yourself first. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look. Now, if we distribute everything, we're going to be getting a quartic equation, obviously, right? And can it be solved? Yes. There's a formula. Is it complicated? Yes. So let's get, go ahead and look at it from a different angle. So what I'm going to do is, and I've, we used a similar approach in one of the other videos, I'm going to pair these up in a different way. So I'm going to pair up the first and the last equation, uh, I mean factor, and then the second and the third one like this. The reason why I do that is because when you multiply, you're going to notice. Okay, so let's go ahead and multiply x plus 1 times x plus 4. That's going to give me x squared plus 5x plus 4. And then the terms in the middle are going to give me x squared plus 5x plus 6, and the product is going to equal 15. Awesome. Now, what is good about doing this? Well, the good thing about doing it this way is we get the same middle term. We are getting the 5x twice. So if I go ahead and use substitution here, right, I'm going to be getting something nice. So if I call this, for example, u, well, I didn't mean to make it a fraction, right, obviously. So if you make this u, then this will be u plus 2. So u times u plus 2 is going to equal 15. And then I'm going to go ahead and distribute u squared plus 2u is equal to 15. And then I will subtract 15 from both sides and make it a quadratic equation. u squared plus 2u minus 15 is equal to 0. As you know, this is a factorable equation, so I can just go ahead and write it as u minus 3 multiplied by u plus 5 is equal to 0. And from here, we're going to be getting two solutions. One of them is going to be u equals 3. And let's go ahead and see what we named u. u is equal to x squared plus 5x plus 4. So we'll get x squared plus 5x plus 4 being equal to 3, which means x squared plus 5x plus 1 is equal to 0. And as you know, from here, we're going to be getting two solutions. And those solutions are going to be negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. And from here, the x values are going to be negative 5 plus minus the square root of 21 over 2. So those are going to be two of the solutions. And the other two are going to be coming from the fact that u is equal to negative 5. Let's go ahead and take a look at that one. If u is equal to negative 5, then I get x squared plus 5x plus 4 being equal to negative 5, which means x squared plus 5x plus 9 is equal to 0. And from here, from here, we're going to be getting negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. Uh-oh, we're getting a problem here. And what is that problem? Well, we're getting a negative number inside the radical, which means that we're not going to have real roots, but that's okay. This is just going to be complex roots, and they're going to be plus minus root 11i with the negative 5 over 2. So those are going to be the other two solutions. So our equation has two real solutions and two complex solutions, and we did it by a clever substitution. Okay, well, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.